the Golden State Killer who killed 13 between 1974 and 1986 used to break into people's homes, undress and stand in the doorway of their bedrooms naked with his long ass knife and scrape it against the door frame until his victims woke up. Think about that. He was also known for turning on the TV, placing a light cloth over the top of it to give that ambient light just enough so he could see while he was torturing and eventually killing them. And also with the Golden State Killer, when the uh, police finally arrested him, they noticed that his computer also had that cloth over its screen, probably so he could relive those moments of the torture and killing. So in the early 1920s, a German family and their maid were brutally murdered in their farm. The family's patriarch uh, had reported that there were a lot of really strange events that happened in this place while they were there. These included footprints in the snow and leading up to the farm and into the attic. Despite there being none that were leading away from the property, keys went missing and strange newspaper was found. In fact, the family's former housekeeper had left her job in the months leading up to the murders because she believed that the house was actually haunted. It was therefore theorized that, um, obviously, this killer, in the months leading up to this brutal murder, was actually hiding in the victim's attic for at least six months. And then we have these unsettling facts here if you haven't seen this on the screen, which I'm sure you have. I'm sorry for only two things Carl Panzram Pazram has said that he mistreated a few animals in his lifetime and that he was unable to murder the whole damned human race.